Hello and welcome to this pit stop for Mayfly, designed by Kayu Takai and published by Hitoiki. Mayfly is a cooperative game for two to four players taking around 30 minutes to play in two phases, in which together the players are looking to feed up a mayfly in its larval stage before it develops into an adult, and then guiding that adult through four trials hoping to find a partner before the adult dies. The game begins with each player having a starter hand of food cards. Now when we look at these food cards, type will have something to do later on with the trials if you ever get to a partner. But you're looking mostly at how much food this is going to feed to the larva and how much health and strength it's going to give it as an adult. Now the larva has got a stomach size of eight food here. And to start the game, each of the players is going to play a food card from their hand. But they're going to play it face down until we have three cards in a lineup, no matter how many players are in the game. From then on, for the next player's turn, they're going to flip over the first food card. First thing they're going to do is they're going to check how much food this is attempting to put into the larva's stomach. In this case, it's two food and there is enough room there. So therefore, the two food will go on the larva's stomach. Then this food card will go inside the larva, building up the strength to face the trials later when it's an adult. The larva will eat, taking one out of its stomach at this stage, because that's how far it's grown. The other food cards will move up, and then this player will choose a food card from their hand, put it at the end of the chain, and then they get to draw a card. And in this way, you're looking to head to see what other cards other players have played. Now, this player has played a card with no food on it, so this larva is just going to eat, but that's okay. It can go in there, and it will add strength to the uh, mayfly. When we get to that phase, and again, they add to the end. And as we go onwards and upwards, we'll see that the larva will feed. You'll get to growth algae eventually. When you get to a growth algae, you keep all the discs that are already in the stomach, but the larva grows, meaning that the larva is going to be able to eat more food, meaning you have to be more careful in how you balance what's going in, because if you play too many cards in a row that can't fit in there, for example, there are cards that have lots and lots of food on them, like this dinosaur to try to test five. If I tried to play this now or flip it over now, it wouldn't fit in there. It would be discarded, but the larva is going to start eating two at a time. If ever the larva has to eat and there's not enough discs on there and they go down to zero, the larva has died and we have failed in keeping it alive even to the adult stage. There's more growth algae in the deck, so this will grow again and get to that final stage where it's eaten three a turn, providing an even more difficult balance for the players if they're deciding how to feed it, but not overfeed the larvae. If the players keep the larva alive long enough for it to get onto the adult stage, we're then going to take all the cards that have been put into the larva's stomach, and we're going to cheat here a little bit. These are going to get shuffled up, and they're going to get dealt out to the players equally, and then the larva is going to come in as an adult mayfly. Now, adult mayflies cannot eat because they don't have any mouths anymore. Therefore, the strength they build up in the larval stage is all the strength they have to be able to face the four trials that's between them and their potential mates. And the way we're gonna do this is we flip over one trial. Now, this adult mayfly, no matter how many much food was left in its stomach at the end of the larval stage, it's always gonna start with eight strength, but really that's eight chances to either escape or fight the things that they encounter. Now, let's say we come to this cold-eyed bat. That requires that we have six strength to fight it off or to defeat it or get past it, however you wanna do it. Now, this player might choose to play this medicinal algae that's previously been put in the stomach. That will take one strength for us to play that. It will then go to the next player, and they will decide a card to play from their hand. And it just happens they've got some plum algae here. So they'll play that out. That is six strength in total, which is not quite enough to defeat the cold-eyed bat. So we need to play one more card. So maybe we'll put some growth algae in there and put that down there. And we've defeated this trial. That goes away. And the adult mayfly moves on to the next trial. Now, some of these are very tough. For example, we don't fancy taking on this one. So we can spend a disc in order to avoid that one and draw the next one from the pile in order to face it. When you face these rivals, they've got a base of three, but also that plus sign means you flip over from the unused food cards that weren't eaten and you add that amount of health across in order to face this one. So for a four strength, we can play this dinosaur detritus, for example, that will take another one of our strength up there and we move on to the next trial. Now, either you're going to run out of strength in the adult mayfly, and that's going to happen quite often, and you're not going to get all the way through the four trials. 
If, however, you have played well enough, you've got the right cards that you've put in the stomach and you get all the way through all four trials and you make it to the end of the partner, you check and see how many Algae cards you've been using and how many Detritus cards you've been using. You check and find the partner that's got the right mix of those cards and if it hasn't got the right mix, you just use this one here. You flip it over and that will tell you the ending for the Mayfly that you have been growing from birth, but I'm not going to spoil that for you. This has been a Game Pit Pit Stop. For more videos like this, check out our YouTube channel. For more in-depth coverage of gaming, please check out the Game Pit Podcast. Thanks.